Testing. One, two, three. Whoa. I blame myself for making Fox Trots come turn on Iron Camel into a bandwagon. Well, at least you blamed yourself for something you did. I mean, you can only blame yourself for that, right? Hello everyone, this is Junior Fan, and today I'm out here to make yet another commentary. This time it's on Shadow the Ultimate 777, aka Foxtrot Delta Lima 297. I'm going to nitpick here. Don't you mean Foxtrot Delta Lima 497? Now, he did a commentary on the iRate Gamer, and before I begin to actually start this commentary, I'm not going to go ahead and make the same accusations that a couple other commentators claim, saying, Oh, he's beating a dead horse, he's old news, yada yada yada, all that happy horse shit. Well, Junior Fan, I could have sworn that that was exactly what you're going to say. I mean, Neil Victor Gulliver hasn't already been beaten like a dead horse, right? Gotta practice what you preach, though. Because for one thing, DLA Abauku, aka the guy who does the I Can't Believe It's Not AVGN series. Well, I'm just gonna pull a few excerpts from Shat Selfs and Eleven's one shot commentary on your skipping hypocrisy, just so you can really get the message. This goes on and on for like 30 seconds, so I'm gonna skip it. So skip. I forgot about it. Skip. Don't care. Skip. Don't care. Skip. Skip. Also skip this speech thing. Fuck drinking games. Skip. Also skip the bullshit. Okay, stop. Stop. All you're doing throughout this commentary is just skipping most of Junior Fan's points. So, what's the point of even making this commentary? What are you trying to prove? Come on, you keep dragging on your points and stuff. Y yeah because most of us have a pretty short attention span nowadays, right? Oh, he drags on his points for too long. Well, sorry to disappoint, but different commentators have different styles, and that's just Junior Fan's way of doing commentaries. He does it mostly for entertainment value. Okay, let's just end Chad Silvson's commentary there, just so I can do the math between my skipping and SPD 22 skipping. Going oh, once, man. going yeah. twice. Well, what do you know? Time for some more skipping. You know, as you can see in this picture, he called me out for skipping too much when he skipped around nine times in a row, compared to me only skipping twice in my commentary. Hell, I mean, does that not make you look like a hypocrite at all? Huh? So I'm guessing this is what Dirty Harry's actual dying victims see before they kill over after getting pelted by a 44 Magnum pistol, correct? This dark void with red and orange text which you could barely see the fucking text. I can still read it though, maybe it's because your screen is shite. And really, overly cliche. Not much to say here though. Hey everyone and welcome to Shadow Commentaries. This is Season 1, Episode 10. In today's episode, I am going to be critically analyzing the Irate Gamers review of Silver Surfer. Now, keep this as a mental note here, folks. Good God, you're such a motherfucking hypocrite. Which was requested over Facebook. And I can tell you, this review is really bad. Eh, I've probably seen much worse. Okay, the best thing to do about this is... Do not call people out on skipping when you're skipping yourself. So, let's dive right in, grab the scalpel, and cut this video right open. Let's I didn't know it was a fucking biology thing. class. Yeah, I'm going to skip the first minute and 21 seconds of this because this does not contribute anything to the video whatsoever. Yeah, I could say the same thing for your pointless commentary there too, buddy. Alright gamers, today we're going to be checking out Silver for the NES. Now, now, I know this game has been reviewed before. But my intent is to make it all the way to the end. Now, if anybody out there has a problem with that, I suggest you just click over to another channel. That would be a pretty smart idea if you're gonna say something like that. Right back at you, buddy. Hmm. Let me see what else is on besides this. Also, don't care. Skip. Shitty. Hey, what the hell you think you're doing? Turn that back. Nice sarcasm oh, there, by the way. way more entertaining than this. Nice sarcasm. Oh, oh crap! I know you are! Keep him in Jewish Ram! Run for the hills! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, 
Ah, whatever, that fucking sucked donkey dick anyways. Dude, your FDL impersonation sucks. Whew, alright, that's better. Alright, well the game starts off by Galactus telling Silver Surfer that he needs his help defending the universe from a huge threat. And once arriving at the startup screen, we get to choose from five different areas. You know, this stage selection screen kind of reminds me of Mega Man. You've got your Water World, Space World, and Ghost World? Wait a minute, this is exactly like Mega Man! Okay, Mega Man is a side-scrolling platformer, whereas Silver Surfer is a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up with horizontal and vertical perspectives. So there, that's one difference for ya. So in this side-scrolling adventure, SHIT! You're mi uh, let's try this again. So in this side-scrolling adventure, your mission is to reach the end Fucking of- Fucking hell! Gosh damn it! <sighs> now in this side-scrolling adventure, you're mi- Son of a monkey's ass, fucker! And that was just me throwing random insults at Irate Gamer. I really would have to wonder if you're actually trying to play the game. Thanks for just pointing out what everybody has been talking about in their irate gamer commentary since 2008 or 2009, Captain Obvious. It would be nice if we could say, have you ever tried the game itself, but you decided to say something that nothing I've ever said when making a commentary on Foxtrot's commentary on Chris, which ironically has been said to death before. Also skip the speech thing because he dragged on on purpose. The game is over, no save feature, one hit and you're dead? <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh, clips. Funny. funny how? How am I funny? From the very first set second, these stages will be out to kill you in every way possible. Now, some games require a bit of memorization just to pass through them, but this game pretty much grabs your spine and pulls it right out your asshole. Now, just how the hell am I supposed to get past this? Good God, is there anything harder than this game? Couldn't they have at least given us a health meter, power mushrooms, something? This isn't Mario. Hey. Who wants to go ahead and do a nice little drinking game with- Sorry, Junior fan, but I'm not into drinking games, but thanks for asking anyways. Now, thankfully, this game has a lot of checkpoints throughout the level, but good fucking luck reaching them. When trying to deal with shit like this, where the game gives you the space as big as your ass crack to pass through. Ugh. God, this game sucks, it blows, and it's a piece of shit! Good timing on calling it a piece of shit, and also, didn't that sound kind of like something the Angry Video Game Nerd would say? Yeah, that's exactly what the Angry Video Game Nerd would say, though. THIS GAME IS A PIECE OF SHIT! No, I don't know what phrase the Angry Video Game Nerd would have said in his Silver Surfer review compared to Chris Bohr's Silver Surfer review. No, I don't know what your point is in this whole entire friggin' argument. The point he was trying to make is that AVGN said the game is a piece of shit, which is very generic. Also, skip the bullshit. Okay, well, maybe we can just pause the game and try Point is that statement is pointless. We'll navigate around this bullet, around this, around that and head this way to free ourselves for the next line of attack. Just gonna queue up the Apache Dance Party Niners for when Kirispor's brain spews up a strategy after that. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, hardy ha ha. I almost pissed myself laughing. <sighs> Take a drink. I said I'm not into drinking games. Shut up. Uh, well, time to break out the NES Advantage. This oversized controller thankfully has turbo buttons and a slow button. That will help slow things down like, a bit. That's gonna help. Now this might sound like, sound like a good idea on paper, and probably would get a little bit further than you would normally. But good luck from here on out, because the only thing you'll be doing is watching your ass getting kicked in slow motion. Funny, and by the way, he slowed down the gameplay footage with his video editing software, people. And I guess you don't realize that the irate gamer is playing with the NES Advantage, which means if you try to speed up the control scheme- Jesus Christ, what's with those subliminal messages? I mean, seriously, no one's gonna able to pause just to see the message. Oh, who am I kidding?
You're a hypocrite? Uh, I didn't see anything that he contradicted himself. Your intro is too long. Because it doesn't go straight out to the point with its long intro. You should have cut a lot of this rant out if you believed it went nowhere all this time. Isn't this coming from a guy who come to hit on some of Von Seal Cross's parts? You knew nothing about the problem he was explaining. I knew more than he did. And you bring that up. Why? Because you're just such a hypocrite for calling precisely rarity out on using subliminal messages when you use subliminal messages yourself? Jeez, it didn't that just come back to bite you in the ass? Real hard, I mean. ...of the character that slows down the game, right? Because the NES could do so much for what it's capable of doing. And also, for the record, quit being so goddamn repetitive when it comes to your point saying, Oh, it's not funny. We get it. You don't like the irate gamer and his humor. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, skip. And if you think the controls in this game are any better, guess again. Because once you start finding power-ups to add to your arsenal, it becomes another complicated mess just to use them. Now the A button will fire your standard weapon, I got 22 seconds before I get to see another irrelevant Foxtrot moment. Cause you know, we haven't already called Foxtrot Delta Lima out on his irrelevance, now have we? Let me go ahead and say this, to fill in the space that Foxtrot could have said something or could have put a media clip or something. Hi, Mom! Holy crap, he's going to use a media clip. Who the hell designed this shit? Pablo Picasso? Oh my god, how oh dare I write game a really Pablo Picasso for us? Why, yes. Fuck off. You know nothing about. That was for the irate gamer? Really? I'm kind of shocked because I thought that was for you, Foxtrot, because that's how they feel about your commentary so far. Actually, that describes your videos. I mean, come on, you keep dragging on your points and stuff. Ah, but what the hell does this even matter anyway? So you probably won't be alive long enough to even use it. Gosh damn it, I want to see the rest of this game! Don't you? I would too. If only you could actually play it. Refer to my statement about subliminal messages, please K thanks, bye. Well, I hate to do, to do this, but time to break out the game, Genie. Oh! Junior fan bitches and moans about Neil Victor Gulliver's understandable tirade about an irate gamer or cheating in his review, given how he has no choice but to cheat in this review just to beat the game anyway, so there. Alright, Genie, come out of there! The almighty game genie. Oh, using an actual genie? Oh, what genius. Not. <sighs> Crap! Not again! Hey, you look a little different from last time. Well, being locked away in that thing for a while will do that to you. Plus, if Doctor Who can do it, I can do it too. Alrighty, so, how may I serve you? Oh, great. Well, I need him. Oh, yeah, by the way, has anyone uh, noticed that Chris seems that? to play every character in his videos? No, I do not want to take another sip of that monster, even though it tastes good. And I'm not gonna make another trivial fact about it beer either. Also, I didn't realize that that was the irate gamer. I thought that was the irate gamer's evil twin brother who basically shaved off his mustache and his goatee. It would be nice if you say something like, Why are you taking it seriously? Also, skipping. Uh, not me. The game. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Yeah, now we're talking untouchable. Now each level in this game is split up into three sections. Two full-size levels and a third that contains the stage boss. The bad news here is that it takes a billion shots just to kill him. And the good news? Well, there's no good news. This is a Silver Surfer game. No. Team. This is a game where you know, instead of you groaning like a little kid who ate too much goddamn ice cream on his birthday, or whatever the case may be. What Chad so said 11 said about Chad's PD-22 was skipping, can also apply to uh, Junior uh, Fan this is with very boring. reputation, yep. you know? Junior Fan doesn't necessarily need to be a dickhead about reputation and shit like that. Oh, you flip my shit! You know, that picture of Silver Surfer moping expresses just how I feel about this review. What emotion? You barely emoted through this commentary. Lucas talking, also skipping. Shit! 
Sass Biddy skips again. So after you successfully defeat a stage boss, we get a device piece, and the Silver Surfer celebrates. Well, don't party too hard there. Santa Montana is funnier than this. Yeah, and the irate gamer is funnier than you because he actually puts a lot more effort into his comedy style. No you arguments, Skip. Knock it off with the excessive skipping, SassPD22. It's driving me crazy. We got four more of these stupid hard as shit levels to beat. <sighs> and even with a Game Genie helping you, you'll be subjected to a countless barrage of death after death after death after death after death before finally reaching all these stage bosses. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't beat Silver Surfer even when using Game Genie. Na 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 na. Now, before Junior Fan opens his mouth again, I could just say the Silver Surfer has a fairly large hitbox, so there. That'll explain the difficulty for ya. You know, Foxtrot, knowing that you about broke my tolerance for you in this commentary, and knowing that you pretty much exposed your eight-year-old self. Whoa, calm down there, you could have easily said- Screw you, I'm just gonna be playing some Joe Satriani surfing with the alien to this commentary. <laughs> oh, stop. And that is the end. Well, all in all, this was a rubbish win. We didn't really go into much detail in this, because most of it is just winning about how difficult it was. And it went into absolutely no detail about the story, the characters, the design, etc. Nope. Skip. If I wanted a proper Silver Surfer review, I'll stick to the Angry Video Game Nerds review. And thus we come to the conclusion of Shadow Commentary Season 1 Episode 10. If you liked it, please click subscribe and become a fan by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter at Formspring and Instagram. Yeah, I wonder what else would happen. Probably disable the ratings and comments like you usually do on your channel. As of Friday, July 13, nope. Not yet. Want to know why? Because I told you not to disable the comments. So, in conclusion, there's really nothing to say about this commentary that's already been said. This commentary is an abysmal pile of shit that is basically an embarrassment to fucking society. Cause you know, absolutely nothing has been said and done about Neil Victor Gulliver before now, have they? Because commentaries are serious business. Okay, I'll shut up now. I'm gonna end the video right there. All in all, this whole thing was nothing more than hypocrites bitching and moaning about hypocrites. Anyways, see you later.